Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world. This is the world of Wayne, something different today. As you can see behind me, that side, <laughs> we've got a Lancaster bomber. I'm at the Lincoln Heritage Aviation Museum. Uh, just thought I'd give you a, a guided tour of what's going on here. And we're gonna watch this beast taxiing. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video. So today, I'm at the Lincolnshire Aviation Heritage Centre, the home of the NX611 Just Jane Lancaster Bomber. Now this beast is going to be taxiing in about an hour's time, so I'll be showing you the firing up and everything from that. Pretty impressive. I'll try and get you some more footage of this as well. Uh, impressive you can actually um, pay to taxi with this there's two taxi in sessions today I think prices range from about 450 pound they do do tours and stuff of the plane as well the aeroplane sorry I get told off for not calling it an aeroplane let's make sure I've got that right so here's my guidebook for the day map of the place let's have a look at this quite a big place as you can see i'm here today with my brother who's uh over there taking pictures to give you a quick look around this side the flying control and met office and there you go Look at that beast. Massive wheels. I thought this is would be interesting. It looks like they're filming something here. You can see the boom bike in the cameras. Someone's wheeling a bike round. I'm on nine times zoom here. Not sure what's going on there. Okay, we're in one of the hangars here. Look, there's a mosquito. I'll show you that a little bit better later on. on this side we've got some of the bombs like the tall boy the Canberra B6 and they're saying please climb in and have a look yeah it'd be rude not to really wouldn't it <laughs> let's go and have a look wow check that out I'll tell you what I'd hate to be uh, putting one of these together Pedals. It's still got that oily engineering mechanical smell. Pretty interesting stuff. We built a couple of these on the channel now. Here's your radial engine. Actually, we've got a couple of these. These are, looks like wreckages. And this one. Pretty crazy. These are more familiar. Again, these uh, look like they've been reclaimed from wreckage sites. The remains of a Spitfire. I mean, look at this. It's Okay, there's a bit more up close on the mosquito. Let's have a look around here. Bombs. <laughs> Keep going. There you go. Nice. Lots of wreckage parts here. Obviously, this is a guide for any restoration that needs to be done, which can be done right here in the restoration center, as you can see there. The 
this is my brother who helped take me there today. <laughs> Check these uh, front turrets out. Fraser Nash FM5. Here's a model for you. Not quite sure what scale this is. But uh, wow. It's uh, <laughs> pretty big. <laughs> Look at that. And here we got the uh, gear going up. Are we going to be able to make that happen? Massive wheels. You can actually operate this yourself where there's a button there but there's the undercarriage for the Lancaster the guy Gibson yoke and throttle quadrant and it looks just like that you can press things what happens changes the uh, pictures that we're watching here the <laughs> master raid <laughs> Obviously I made reference to this in the Lancaster video. Operation Chastise, we have the bouncing bomb. Ginormous. And another thing I made reference to in the video was the tall boy. Again by Barnes Wallace. Some big bombs. Everything from oscilloscopes to communication equipment. My dad would be right at home with this sort of thing. He used to work in communications and radar control. That was post. RF. So this hangar is full of history. So we've got all the wreckages and stuff on the other side. And then on this side behind me, we've got more towards the history and things that they've managed to preserve and save. But again, if you're a fan of models, check those out up on the uh, side of the hangar wall there massive models you don't see these very often anymore they're either libraries or defibrillators but to the point the phone inside doesn't let you open it <laughs> Check that out, the old rotary phone <laughs> Some of these things are ingenious. Escape pencil with concealed compass. Then you got the forged documents, forged stamps. And for all of you have said the great escape. Look at that little mock up there. Harry. That would have been very claustrophobic. I mean, check out that space in there that you've got to. You could stand up, you could even kneel up. I don't know if I would uh, like that at all. Even if it was for my escape. And this is quite interesting. This is a list of names of uh, all the soldiers that after the great escape were recaptured and shot. And pretty much what they did during the escape in these storyboards as you can see
Can you imagine disposing of that much soil and dirt? And that happened over here in the penguin soil bags, which were in a big trench coat there, would drop through the trouser pockets onto the dirt of the floor. And these are all manufactured, fabricated, and completely forged official stamps. <laughs> Here's the radio room. Dials, valves. I love filming this for my uh, father would get a lot out of this. Marconi T1154 transmitter. And another hut here we've got all the uh, different kinds of turret for the gunners. There we go, we're back in time into the 40s. As my brother pointed out, check out that vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I'm sure some of your houses probably still have that wallpaper. Obviously this is a converted RAF base so you do see these shelters here, one of your bigger ones here. This is where I can escape the wife. <laughs> Just through the buildings there you can see that Lancaster again. It's a lovely place this. Okay for any of you who've been to uh, Greenwich, this is the Meridian Line up here. So we're in the Western Hemisphere, well not the Western, this is the Western side of the uh, time zones here and then the Eastern side on the other side there. So Paris to the East, LA to the West. <laughs> so I don't know if you can notice this from uh, remnants of Air Four, uh, World War Two. I'm going to zoom in, got a bullet hole from aircraft fire on the airfield, uh, there it is. Just there, there's one on the other side as well. So an absolutely fantastic day and it was great to meet Scott Mitchell and his wife Zoe, uh, who I've got a picture with here. Uh, it's great to bump into people from the community uh, when I'm out and about. So uh, thank you uh, for coming and say hi, Scott. Uh, but I know you've all been looking at that thinking, well, where's the Lancaster Wayne? So uh, without further ado, let me show you what you've watched this video for. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually wearing a lavalier mic at the moment is why you can hear me but I'm going to be taking that out for when this thing starts up and then you'll uh, hear the full roar of these propellers.
this wouldn't be a modeling video if I had shown you what bottles we've got here. Some of the metal earth, woodcraft, build and play, airfix, and the mosquito, that's what we saw in that hangar there. And there you go, absolute beast of an aircraft. And uh, it would be great if uh, Hachette Parkworks do actually release this. Now, the actual main number two of the trial should be out today. So uh, if you're in Canvey Island, hopefully there'll be one there. I don't know where else it is around the country. Uh, and I don't know if this is a free issue or a four issue trial. We'll have to see how that goes. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed the day. But uh, other than that, take care. See you later.